You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face from the last election cycle, the city council election cycle. It would be John Drzinskis. John, welcome. Okay, thank you for having me again. Nice you know. to see you. We are promoting not you as a candidate, but your heritage and something you're very proud of. You have a Lithuanian Heritage Day coming up, correct? I do, I do. Um, it's sponsored by the, the Knights of Lithuania Council No. 1, in, uh, which is based in Brockton. The, um, it's an annual event, a regional event. It will be held on Saturday, March 5th, 2016, at St. Michael's Church in Avon, Massachusetts. There will be a Mass, for those wishing to attend, there will be a Mass at 4 p.m., and immediately following the Mass, there will be a uh, dinner and cultural presentation for, um, for uh, the Lithuanian Americans and people attending. Well, I remember back in the day when they had it in Brockton right. at the, the Lithuania, former St. Casimir's. The former St. Casimir's Church, Okay, yes. but Avon's not that far. It's right across the border. No, and, and, and the reason it's a in Avon and not in Brockton is uh, when St. Casimir's closed in 2008, most of our parishioners, most of the Catholic Lithuanian Americans went over to St. Michael's in Avon, mm -hmm. and they're currently parishioners there. So, um, you know, the, uh, the, the folks there were very welcoming for us, and um, this will be the, uh, the, actually the 10th um, the year we're having this event mm -hmm. between St. Casmus and St. Michael's. That's going to be a busy weekend. I had a guest on earlier in the day, and these could even be packaged with, you, with each other, where there's a children's concert on on Sunday the 6th, so right. we're, we're starting to get into, believe it or not, March. Spring is around the corner. Yeah, well, with this weather, spring is around the corner. I, I hope this weather lasts. Exactly. Let's yeah. not, let's yeah. not <laughs> jinx it too much. Exactly. So, um, Brockton, for years and years, has had a, a, a fairly large population of Lithuanians. Mm -hmm. We've had former mayors, David Crosby, who was Lithuanian. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of folks, uh, you know, in being the immigrant community that Brockton is over the years, um, they all kind of congregated at one point in time more in the village section right. of Brockton. I remember some wonderful Lithuanian bakeries and restaurants and stuff like that. It was, You're it helping was, to keep it alive, John. Right, right. It was a true village at that time. There were all these little shops, as you mentioned. Uh, you know, you had the butcher, the, the baker, the candlestick maker, you know, for lack of a better term. Um, the area is actually starting to come back, okay? A lot of these small stores have closed, of course, but uh, there's a lot of uh, single-family homes being built in the village, and it's starting to be built up again. It's an it's a, it's a area that was depressed for many years, uh, but, but now it's starting to make a comeback. And you live right there. I live right there, and I have my entire life. I'm actually still in the house that I grew up in. Oh, well, that's very yeah. cool. Yeah. So talk about the cultural presentation that's going to happen that night. What, what do they have in store for people that would, would come to this? Well, it's a, it's a little bit late, but we are going to make a, culture, a, a brief cultural presentation uh, of our um, Christmas Eve traditions, mm -hmm. which uh, is not unique just to Lithuania, but it's, uh, it's, it's practiced across Eastern Europe, okay? the, the Poles, the Swedes, and so forth. Um, Christmas Eve is, uh, it, it's called Kuchis, K-U-C-I-O-U-S, and what it is, is uh, it's a family gathering, a family meal, uh, there's 12 meatless dishes served, we also break wafers, which is a, a, a sign of uh, family comradeship, mm -hmm. and um, we have meatless, uh, meatless meals. And um, it's, it's actually a beautiful tradition. It's, uh, the, the 12 meatless meals are, are used to uh, signify the 12 apostles of Jesus Christ. Mm, okay. Yeah. And is the, the, so the food is going to be traditional to Christmas Eve? Uh, 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 not, not so much traditional. Uh, we, have, we have a lot of very, um, I don't want to say I don't want to use the, the word bizarre foods, but of the uh, strictly Lithuanian foods, uh, we won't have we won't have the uh, the uh, the real strict Lithuanian foods for that meal. We will have uh, what we call the three Ks, okay, which is kielbasa, kapusta, which is a, a cabbage dish, mm -hmm. and kugelis, which is a potato dish. 
Uh, in addition to the Lithuanian foods, we'll have uh, uh, traditional American foods, too. We haven't decided on the menu yet, but we always have that option for people that, w uh, that aren't used to our diet to have something that they would like. Okay, so yep. you start with a mass, you yep. go into a dinner and a cultural presentation. Um, we don't talk specifically ticket price, but I'm assuming it's, it's affordable and reasonable? It's, it's, a, it's affordable. Would, would you like to know what it is? Or? Why not? If, it, Why if, not? It's, if it's under $50, we can handle it. Oh, it's definitely under $50. $50. It's $15 for adults mm -hmm. and $5 for kids up to the age, to, uh, age of 10. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we highly recommend that you order tickets in advance because last year the event sold out. We had, uh, last year's event had about 150 people there. Mm. So we did sell out of our tickets last year and um, tickets are available for me. Uh, John Rosenskis, 15 Faxon Street, mm -hmm. Brockton, Massachusetts, 02302. What you do is you send me a check uh, for the total amount of tickets that you would like. The check made out to K of L, Council Number One, mm -hmm. and you send that to my home address, 15 Faxon Street, Brockton, Mass. And as soon as I have that check, I'll mail you mail the tickets out to you. And now I know after the election that you've kind of be become a Facebook aficionado, so you already have it up on Facebook. You have I, it up as an event. I, I have to use my free time somehow. Not, not now that it's between elections. Well, we'll also make available to you this video so you can attach it to the Facebook. That's we, great. We figured That's out how great. to do that during, yeah. during the campaign. So, yeah. mm -hmm. sell out 10 years. Looks like it's going to be a, a great time. Yep. And uh, I've, I've invited um, a lot of dignitaries. I've invited the mayor. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, I've, I've heard from, uh, from one of his staff that they're checking his schedule. I've invited the entire city council. So, we'll see what happens. And it's not that far away. Right. Next exactly. town over. Yep. So just, just to recap, uh, Lithuanian Heritage Day um, at the St. Michael's Church in Avon, right on 28. Yep. Um, it's sponsored by the Knights of Lithuania Council Number 1, Saturday, March 5th, 2016. Uh, time? Starting time? We didn't I'm do that. I'm sorry. We didn't do the starting time. The Mass is, <coughs> excuse me, the Mass is at 4 o'clock. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then immediately after the Mass, approximately 5 o'clock, if people don't choose to go to the Mass, uh, dinner will be around 5 o'clock. Perfect. Yep. So um, that's <coughs> one of the events that will, I'm going to say, not necessarily be on TV, but you never know. We might be able to cover the cultural presentation part. That's we'll right. see. That's and right. uh, because back in my <coughs> day, they used to have all these events at the library. You used to do travel logs back right. in the day. So yep. this is another way to do it. So. Make sure you check this out. And uh, John, do you want to give a phone number just in case anybody wants to talk to you? Yes, I'll give you my phone number, my email address. Actually, okay. if anyone needs any any more information on the event, uh, my phone number is area code 508-586-8599. And if email is more convenient, it's John T27 at Verizon.net. Okay, yep. you get all the information you need to know. Yep. Um, Thanks for being with us, John. Thank you for having me. Glad to help. Yeah, glad to see you again. Same here. Yep. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.